You're listening to the Voice of Russia in London. This is Alice Lanyado. This week, established Russian artist Elena Davidova brings her first major exhibition to the UK. Her paintings of Moscow and London show the cities at their best. We invited Elena into our studio along with Vera Ignatieva, who is curating the exhibition, which opened on the 23rd of April at the Frameless Gallery in Clerkenwell. I began by asking Vera Ignatieva why she wanted to introduce a British audience to Elena's work. I think Elena's work is very bright and happy and, uh, as you know, she doesn't use any black colour. So it's brilliant work, very positive and bright. Elena, do you paint full-time or have you worked in your life as well? Have you been able to combine various things, work, uh, family? How does it work for you? It's not full-time work, uh, my paintings, but... I have free time, free from work, from family, from everything, and I do my paintings in that time. When do you do it? In the evening, the weekend? Weekend, yes, uh, holidays. And what's your job in the week? I'm an architect and quite conductor in a Russian Orthodox Church in London. Is that the church in Knightsbridge or the one in Gunnersbury? In Knightsbridge. So you're you're very busy. Yeah, very busy, <laughs> yes. A lot of women artists really begin to shine when they've had their children later in life. Has that happened to you or have you always found time for painting? Uh, yes, I always found time from my first day. <laughs> Since you were a child? Uh, yes. And why do you need to paint? I don't know. It's it's like a uh, breath, like... Part of life? Yes. So you've always painted non-stop? Yes, even in a very hard time for my life. Is it ever hard to find that energy if it's a hard time of your life if you're tired painting helps me to recover and it's it's very important for me painting heals me not only me but some other people i know so it's it gives you a lot as well yes. as others it gives me uh, very much and vera going back to the london art scene there's a lot of modern art that's fashionable at the moment elena's art is more traditional and easier, I think, to understand for a lot of people. Do you think people will appreciate that, that they're seeing something beautiful rather than something that's a concept like Damien Hirst and that people may need a bit of beauty in their lives and not just clever ideas? Yes, you're very right. I think a day in Tate Modern is interesting, but when you return to your house, you probably don't want to surround you with shark in ink or something very extraordinary. You want something nice and bright, which doesn't annoy your eye, but brings you happiness. Do you think it's difficult for artists like Eliana working in this world where some modern art has come to dominate? You know, is it difficult to be a less fashionable artist, shall we say? It's maybe difficult in terms of um, money and if your purpose of art is commercial and you want to sell mainly, that's probably is a bit diff yes. difficult. <laughs> but if you want to create beautiful paintings first of all and yes. a commercial <laughs> idea comes second then it's no problem there always will be people who will appreciate her art 